Okay, I just did seven more rows of double crochet using the special stitch instead of a turning chain to make it so there's no more holes. Now I'm going to fold this down here to show you the comparison. Okay, there's the, one, the ones with the special stitch. Down here is your double crochet not using the special stitch. I'm going to do it this way. Pardon me, I don't have anti-shake on, so let's see. Here it is. This is a double crochet right here. See the holes? The ones I just did. There's no holes. But the problem is, is it bumps out. It makes just a little bit more dense fabric. And that's really not really a problem. So um but whatever way you prefer, or if you're following a pattern, I recommend doing what the pattern says. So when we do get to the other end, we're going to have to go back and do it with the turning chain again so that it'll match on both ends of the scarf. So um, the next one is how to do half double crochet without having the holes. And that's pretty simple. All you do is you chain one and turn. Remember before we were chaining two. And that first chain, just ignore it and you yarn over, make your half double crochet in the first stitch. And that's pretty much how you do half double crochets without having that hole in the end. So um, do seven rows of half double crochet with the chain one instead of the chain two skip one. And we'll get back and then we'll do seven rows of single crochet. And then we'll repeat everything again. This time, you know, hiding those holes on the ends and then when you do the last group of stitches for your double crochet half double and sing uh, half double crochet you want to go back to the skip one for your turn so it'll match on both ends um, there are a few other stitches that I didn't include that are basic because they weren't for this project let me get to the end of this row and I'll show them to you. Um, these are not for on your scarf. These would be in patterns. Um, and that would be the slip stitch. And I'm going to finish this row. Let me get around there. Okay. I'm just going to chain one for the sake of this because we're going to I'm going to do seven rows of half double, but in the meantime, I'm going to show you a slip stitch is you insert your hook in the stitch, you draw up a loop, and then draw that first loop through the second loop. Insert your hook, draw up a loop, draw that first loop through the second loop. These are slip stitches. These are used for joining pieces of fabric, for joining in when you work in the round. These are for, you usually don't work into slip stitches when you do um, needlework because they're really, they don't stretch. They keep, if you have something that you don't want to stretch, you would put these in the border of your fabric um, for shaping sleeves and that sort of thing is what the slip stitches are for. Um, another thing that a pattern might tell you to do is work in the back loop only. And your stitches, all your stitches have these V's on the top. And when you work at a back loop only, you go and you don't go under both loops of the V's like we've been. You go under one loop in the back and you complete your stitch. 
and what this does it'll leave a line in your stitches and that is for whatever stitch you're doing um, they'll do double crochet single crochet and back loop only and it's abbreviated BLO and that's all it is you do the stitch the way you normally do except for you insert it just under the back loop there are also times a pattern will say front loop only and so you yarn you do your stitch and I'm doing half double crochet you go and you look down at the top edge of the stitch and you see the V and you go under just the front loop and that's front loop only and this will work out because later in the pattern you're going to work into the stitches sometimes it just leaves that little ridge to make it uh, you know make a design or a pattern it also makes it a little bit more stretchy so um, but those are some other things that you're going to need to know um, taking care of the tails when we finish the scarf I'm going to finish the scarf and when I get it done before I draw the tails in I'll come back and I'll show you how you know this is the tail and basically you put this on a yarn needle and you draw it through your stitches to hide the tail and you'll want to do it you want to leave your tail pretty long so that when you wash it it doesn't come out um, so that's yeah that's pretty much how you crochet and you know like I said just continue on making your scarf going from your smallest to your largest stitches and then go back down to your smallest stitches again and then repeat that and when you get back down to your single crochet your scarf should be long enough as a scarf you could if you want to make it longer you just continue and repeat that again for the third time yeah for the, the third time and um, and that would be your scarf um, like I said when I get it when I get mine finished I'll show you how to draw in the tails another thing if you don't want to draw in your tail you can make fringes I'll show you how to do fringing too on that video so um, enjoy making your scarf post in the comments on how your progress is coming along and if you have any questions feel free to ask just post it in the comments or send me a message um, where where on my home page it'll say contact Beth in Texas you could do that and I answer most comments some people I might not have left a, an answer in your comments because you didn't really ask a question just said something um, and if I missed answering your questions I am so sorry forgive me ask it again and I'll get back to you and happy crocheting